Wow, just lost for words. Just lost for words. Got through watching the Adrian Broner versus Blair Cobb fight. Uh, put on by Don King Promotions. Uh, Want to take a couple of things. Number one, a, this is AB's first fight. In, or He's only fought twice in the last five and a half years. Blair Cobb hasn't fought in two years. And honestly, maybe I was just under a rock, but I thought that they was fighting in some arena. Shows that they was fighting, that they were at a ballroom. I wasn't expecting AB to not be fighting in arenas. Uh, but the prior, the walkout, the scene AB came out with Rick, Rick Ross. Shout out to Rick, Rick Ross on that, supporting AB. First round was a filler round. AB wasn't letting his hands go. And it seemed like, I don't know, it, it seemed like he's still shell shocked. Now, one funny thing, the commentators, they was pretty much uh, clowning on the previous fights. I didn't see the other ones. But, you know, they made it seem like it was a very une uneventful night. Now, round two, as you see in the picture, AB got clocked and flopped around. Lost the tooth, lost his mouthpiece. Now, one thing I will give him heart for, he did get back up. And he did press Blair Cobb. But, you know, you could just tell AB wasn't, he wasn't there. Even like uh, going on round three, he ain't, low his hand, he ain't throw, let his hands go. Blair Cobb is throwing wild punches, but he's still connecting. And that's pretty much how it went the rest of the fight. I mean, yeah, AB did kind of step up in the later rounds, but it wasn't enough power. He didn't have enough pop uh, to stop Blair Cobb. Now, one thing I did notice, you could tell Blair was in control the whole fight because he over there smiling. You know, he's having a good time versus AB. AB looked like he was gassed. Now, one thing I will say, or whatever thing I'll say, should I? AB hasn't been the same since Marcos Maidana, and that was what 2013. You know, prior to that, when he fought Pauli Malignaggi, AB was considered the next thing, the next Floyd. You know, he if AB would have been more disciplined, I'm gonna make another video about it tomorrow. AB more than likely would have been making almost as much money as Floyd, if not more. But you know, he let the party in and want to be a rapper. Uh, overtake the whole boxing thing. now <laughs> ab like i said he was gassed he lost a tooth his mouthpiece kept coming out he wasn't letting his hands go you know and he's a shell of himself and i hate to see that you know from a former four-time world champion at only 34 years old but it's, it's it's getting about time to hang it up and you know ab ab had every chance man he had every chance to to even even tonight right to finally make some type of comeback i mean he's had everybody in his corner trying to support him at one point and these are some of the names i i came up with oscar boy golden boy promotions richard safer golden boy promotions al hammer manager and advisor jay-z tried to give him life-changing money and not only did he turn it down but he dissed jay-z on video and, and you know and told him you know you can you know uh, uh, uh. y'all can go look it up on youtube and even with all of that oh he was supposed to do a blk prime but that deal fell through and even then don king still gave him a chance and while some people you know yeah don king 92 years old but he still got pulled and he's still one of the biggest boxers ever and if ab would have won tonight that could have set him up to get to get bigger fights so I, I man you know it's it's really it's time for ab bro it's time for you to hang it up bro you had a heck of a career people won't forget you four-time world champion i mean what he's not letting his hands go and i and i think that i think this is it i mean i don't know if he's just gonna roll with tank now moving forward but i don't i can't see nobody giving ab a mega deal or put him on a big stage and you know, I know he got a lot of demons and stuff that he battling, but he gonna have to find some type of peace because it, it's it's kind of over now. It's kind of over. I mean, when he lost to Marcos Maidana, people gave him a pass. When he lost to Sean Porter, people gave him a pass. When he lost to Mikey Garcia, people gave him a pass. When he lost to Manny Pacquiao, people gave him a pass. I mean, the man literally was part of one of the biggest, or fought one of the biggest fighters of all time most well known and then he had that long layoff he come back and now he would go up against Blair Cobb and it's kind of like okay man it's, it's it's a wrap you're 34 years old people taking over you know boxing's turning a new leaf you got the 
the younger crop coming up that's now the superstars and ab was supposed to pass the torch to tank davis honestly you know ab is supposed to be at his zenith and maybe the next year or two you know he didn't pass it over tank and tank take it over but man this is sad to see it's sad to see and this has been like this for what 11 years he ain't been the same since 2013 of course uh ab didn't give a post for an interview he ended up leaving the ring but blair cobb said that uh he basically called out ryan garcia i don't think ryan's gonna fight blair but that's who he hinted at who he want to fight next but yeah, man, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm still lost for words. I wasn't expecting AB to get dropped like that. And like I said, you dropped your mouthpiece, what, three to four times? But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.